Okay, this afternoon we're changing the transmission fluid on my Pontiac Vibe. This is also the same technique for a Toyota Matrix and also Toyota Corolla. They all have uh, the same engine. It's a very popular 1.8 liter. So this is how you do it. Here's the tools that you need. You need a socket wrench and a uh, 14 millimeter socket. Something to catch the transmission fluid. The funnel to put it back in. And then some transmission fluid. No surprise there. Um, I use Valvoline Max Life. Got to got to get the uh, Dex Mark. Okay, so also going to need uh, jack stands and then uh, jack to get underneath the car. Okay, so now that I have this jacked up, you want to put your pan underneath, and this is the 14 millimeter right here, and you just loosen it up. There you go. Red liquid. It's not very red in this uh, in this case. So let that drain for a couple minutes, and then we're on to the next step. All right, next step is to put the bolt back in. Now there's a little washer right here that you can replace. I guess it helps with the seal, but I don't have one. So the old one's going back in. Okay, so you use your 14 millimeter, snug it up. Doesn't need to be that snug. I would say if you're not having problems with transmission fluid leaking, that washer's probably fine. Okay, next, I'm gonna dump this. Now it's always good to have a spare empty gallon available so you can pour this in there and, and know how much you pulled out because you want to replace it with the exact same amount. Should be 3.2 quarts. All right, so extra funnel helps, obviously. And this transmission fluid is filthy. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's not very red anymore. It's very dark purple. Let me see, how much is that? Yeah, 3.2 quarts. So that's how much you want to pour in. Okay, last step. Put the transmission fluid back in. Now I like to use this funnel. It's got this nice spout, but it's not necessary. So we're putting back in 3.2 quarts. All right, there you go. So I've got my transition fluid back in. Put the uh, put the dipstick back in, and I'm good to go. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if this helped you.